this is no childhood nursery rhyme. And quite honestly, uh, it sounds almost ridiculous, but um, there are many people who think the same thing. Yeah. They, they just keep biting. So you dread going to bed. Because when you go to bed, you know that you're going to be bit. And you know that these things are like torture your mind. Why bed bugs have made such a comeback so fast is one, one of the great mysteries of entomology. Nobody was accepting this, this level of infestation. We pretty much had them knocked out in the 50s. But now they, they, they've come back. It's like an you know, invisible monster or something. Torturing you. For half a century, the bed bug was heard only in nursery rhymes. Playful warnings did not let them fight. But in reality, the bed bug has been around since biblical times. But they were never really a subject of great concern to you in men's studies. Dr. Michael Potter is an entomologist at the University of Kentucky and a leading scientist in bed bug research. A bed bug is a small, brownish, black blood sucking insect that feeds on mouth. four different dermatologists and they couldn't figure out what was wrong with them and never seen a bed bug. And then you get to their home and you flip over their mattress or their box spring and they look like a Boston mass camp and there's thousands of bed bugs in there. They never see their way out. When these people saw with a bed bug infestation, if they even feel they have a bed bug infestation, they want you there now. Not tomorrow, not next week, okay? You can go uh, from a couple of bed bugs, thousands of bed bugs, and really in a matter of months. Once they have these guys, they never want to deal with this emotional trauma again. Every bed bug infestation is a horror story. It's going to happen. The emotional scars are there. Okay, they are traumatized. You know, would you not be? I deal with all kinds of structural pests and termites and cockroaches and everything in between, spiders. But bed bugs is the most disturbing pest that I've ever encountered. I think it was the Hilton Hotel, Five Star Hotel, you know, and I hadn't been itching in a long time. So I, I go to bed that night, and I'm laying in bed, and all of a sudden I start itching again. So finally, I couldn't take it anymore. So I go in the bathroom, I have a bathtub, and I filled the bathtub all the way up to the top of the water. And then I got in the bathroom and went underneath the water and held my breath as long as I could. When I came up, all the bed bugs were floating. Psychologically, it's very uh, troubling because when I when I got those bed bugs off in that hotel, and I went back to bed, I could still feel like I was being bit, but I wasn't being bit. I knew I didn't have any more bed bugs, but I still felt creepy. And that stays with me for quite a while. Stories like this are being told every day, all over the country. And the two questions everyone is asking is, how did I get them in the first place? And more importantly, how do I get rid of them? Folks, this is a typical bed bug, okay? I'm going to show you today how we come in and inspect your home for bed bugs. Anything within about 10 to 15 feet of your bed is where the bed bug infestation is going to be. Here's the place you're going to find bed bugs in your home. Ah, oh, man, look at that infestation. You go all along the top around the entire mat. We're going to lift up this box frame, and we're going to make a thorough inspection underneath this. When you pull the cheese ball back, you're going to find bed bug feces. Another area that we're going to make an inspection is in the nightstand. Ah. Look here, we have infestations all in the cracks and crevices, small and large bed bugs. Remove the outlet cover, and you must ingest this cavity here, okay? But most importantly, you're going to find blood stains. Where did the blood come from? This is how we inspect thoroughly as well as we make our treatment. Another suggestion. They really don't want you but no more yapping in the attic. So the days of the baseboard jockey running in, spraying the baseboards all over the whole house, those days are gone. 
very technical things that we're targeting a lot of products that might be able to affect our business. Alvaro Romero is a graduate student at the University of Wisconsin, working towards solutions to bed bug epidemic. We were sen sensing in the lab uh, different compounds that are commonly, commonly used to control bed bugs. Here we have filter paper ready to impregnate with insecticide. I'm gonna go here, and then we're gonna put a bed bug in there. Tomorrow will be determine how many of them die to determine level of resistance to pesticides in different species. We want to enter that way. So would you say we're at war with bed bugs? No, no, it's not a war yet. We're at war with Al Qaeda. Okay, we're not at war with bed bugs. We are at war with bed bugs. No question about it. Oh, really? You are never going to eradicate or eliminate a certain species of insect. We're searching for other ways to eradicate bed bugs that, frankly, I wouldn't hold my breath for example, the soap bowl. Probably going to have to work with the products that we have today that the public thinks we get a whole lot better at understanding the problem and how to prevent the administration. As research continues at the UK lab, our only choice now is to play the waiting game in hopes of some kind of pheromone or miracle insecticide. But like Dr. Potter said, I wouldn't hold my breath. So sleep tight, America. Oh, yeah. Don't let the bed bugs down.